Good afternoon. We start in the Netherlands, where President Yoon suk yeol and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte have officially agreed to develop a semiconductor alliance. South Korea seeks to secure a strong supply chain through the alliance and maintain a quote super gap lead in chips. Our Oh Soo Young has more. South Korea and the Netherlands have agreed to build a semiconductor alliance and new strategic dialogue channels amid the conflation of global security and economic challenges. President Yoon suk yeol and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte on Wednesday shared the outcome of their bilateral talks at The Hague upon Yoon's state visit to the country. As the global race to develop the most advanced microchips continues to heat up, given the technology's implications on the nation's economic and military prowess. Yoon and Rutte are committed to building value chains between their governments, firms and universities. Officially adopting the term semiconductor alliance in their joint statement, the two sides agreed to establish a bilateral semiconductor dialogue for better industry support and policy coordination, and the semiconductor talent program to nurture professionals in the field. Also, they set out to promote more information exchanges between their governments and establish a new economic security dialogue, along with a biannual 2 plus 2 dialogue for foreign affairs and industry officials at the ministerial level to cover all critical technologies. This is expected to greatly contribute to strategic coordination in the areas of supply chain, economic security and export control, including semiconductors. Identifying both traditional and emerging security challenges, the two sides also inked a deal to expand defence cooperation and continue cyber policy talks and advance global discussions on setting new norms on the military use of artificial intelligence. Further broadening the areas of cooperation, having upgraded their bilateral ties to a strategic partnership last year, the two governments inked MOUs on joint research and development in nuclear energy, carbon-free energy sources and ICT, in the digital AI, quantum and cybersecurity sectors. Other major deals include building South Korea's first cold chain logistics hub in Europe, as well as R&D on neuroscience and smart agriculture and promoting cultural exchanges. Looking forward, the two leaders emphasise their shared values of liberal democracy and rule of law as the basis of their future partnership. In that regard, they reaffirmed their commitment to peace and prosperity of the Indo-Pacific region, which sees some 60% of the world's maritime trade pass through, and jointly condemned North Korea's nuclear and missile development. They also opposed the regime's arms exchange with Russia, while expressing their continued support for Ukraine amid Moscow's ongoing invasion. The President's office says South Korea will continue to bolster its security and economic resilience by expanding its network of like-minded countries, fostered by Yoon's active summit diplomacy this year. Oh Soo-young, Ailang News, The Hague.